Hi and welcome to another Langmuir Systems tutorial video. In this video we'll be covering Fire Control, our CNC Plasma control software, and giving you a general overview of the user interface. The first section that we'll cover is the version bar. This version bar contains the version of Fire Control that you're currently running. It also includes any software updates for the application, machine, or THC firmware. Next, in the Machine Connection section in the upper right hand corner of Fire Control, we have the section in which you connect your Crossfire machines to Fire Control, and you'll see that you'll also have the ability to reset the connection as well as disconnect from the machine. Um, the same options exist for the Height Control module that will connect and disconnect here. You'll also see that you have the version of the firmware also displayed here. Fire Control will auto-connect to any USB connected Crossfire machines automatically. In this section you also have the units drop-down. This drop-down changes the display units for Fire Control. This doesn't affect any loaded programs but does affect what units are displayed. Finally in the top bar we have the machine settings options. These machine settings options let you change the limit switch settings if your machine is enabled with them. Next, we'll cover the program module in the upper left-hand corner of the user interface. This is the location in which you will load, run, pause, and stop programs. To load a program, click the green Upload button on the right side of the program bar. This will bring up the native file selector where you can select your G-code file. Once a program is loaded, you will see the visual representation of it in the visualizer at the center of the screen, and the G-code displayed in the scrollable G-code viewer beneath. A loaded program will also enable the many program manipulations that I will cover later. Underneath the program module is the manual torch fire button with toggle. This allows you to manually fire the torch to test or make manual cuts. You must enable the toggle by clicking on the enable button before you can fire the torch. Also in this row is the go to work zero button. Clicking this will jog your torch to the work zero coordinates. In the next row we have the dry run toggle. This toggle allows you to run a program without any z-axis or torch firing commands to make sure it's positioned just how you want it. Next to the dry run button is the set program origin button which allows you to reset the origin locations of your program to make positioning programs on your material easier. It gives you five options and you can hover over them and select to regenerate the program from that location. Beneath that row are the override modules which allow you to increase or decrease your program's feed rate or pierce delay incrementally before or even while a program is running. Simply click the negative or positive override buttons to change these values is the THC control module and this module shows the details of the THC system if one is connected. We'll cover more details of that in a later video. Below the THC module we have the straight cut module. The straight cut module generates straight cut programs to trim material or make useful straight cuts directly from fire control. Uh, in the straight cut module you choose your direction, your cut length, speed, and pierce delay and you can generate the program very quickly. Below straight cut is the scale and rotate module and this module allows you to scale or rotate your loaded program to better fit your needs without having to switch back into CAM. You can scale your program anywhere from 10% to 10x as well as rotate your program 360 degrees. The last module in this column is the patterning module and this module allows you to repeat your program many times over to cut as many as you can fit on your material. More details on this in a later video as well. So next up moving on to the visualizer. The visualizer is the center of your screen and shows the cut lines of your program in orange as well as the rapid moves between them in blue. Your torch location is shown by the white crosshairs. You can move the visualizer's image by clicking and dragging to pan as well as using your mouse's scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Immediately beneath the visualizer is the fit selection in which you can snap the visualizer's view to a loaded part or the whole machine. 
You can also zoom in and out of the visualizer manually by using these buttons, as well as see your loaded program's width and height. Beneath the visualizer is the G-code viewer, and the G-code viewer displays the loaded program's G-code line by line. You can scroll through this G-code, and as you select lines of code, it will highlight these lines in green on the visualizer above. Likewise, if you select a line in the visualizer, it will highlight the associated line in the G-code viewer. Highlighting a cuttable line in the G-code viewer also enables the Run From functionality. The Run From functionality allows you to generate a new G-code program from this cut line or from this cut loop. Beneath the G-code viewer is the status bar. The status bar shows the current state of the connected machine. It also has indicators for the torch, for your IHS switch, and other limit switches if you have them enabled. It shows the elapsed time of the program that is running. The status bar also contains the pierce counter module, which counts the number of pierces and calculates the torch on time. This is useful for determining consumable life and can be reset with the orange button here. At the top of the right column of fire control, we have the DRO. The DRO, or digital readout, shows the current work coordinates of your crossfire as well as the current machine coordinates if you have limit switches enabled. These coordinates will update as you jog or run a program. This is also where you can zero all or zero each individual axis to set up your cut. As well, if you'd like to manually set the coordinate, simply click, enter a new value, and select set to set that value. If your machine has limit switches and homing enabled, this is also where your homing button will be shown. Below the DRO, we have the jog menu. This menu allows you to select your jog mode or jog distance per click. Choosing continuous will mean that your machine will move until you release the click or key. The jog speed menu determines how fast your torch will be moving as you jog. You can select discrete speeds from 10 to 300 inches per minute for the crossfire and 10 to 400 inches per minute for the Crossfire XR. Beneath the jog menu are the jog keys. These can be used to jog your machine in any direction. They are also indicative of the keyboard keys used to jog as well. Finally, the manual nest button is a simple function to move your work coordinates over by the width or height of your loaded program so you can cut another with minimal waste. That's it for this video. In the next video, we'll be covering cutting with fire control as well as the THC module functionality. Thank you.